So guys, now let us get ourselves introduced to a new term and new concept called fast retransmission. I hope you are enjoying the course. Please leave a review and mention any feedback which you would like to share with me. So let's start with fast retransmission. So we learned how TCP depends on timer to detect that segment has been lost and re-trigger the lost segment, right? That timer was called retransmission timer. But timer-based retransmission often leads to underutilization of network capacity, right? And the reason was simple. The TCP sender has to sit idle waiting for RTO timer to expire, right? The TCP sender resends or retransmit the lost segment only when RTO timer expires. So it might be possible that the TCP segment may have lost long before and, and TCP sender is just uselessly waiting for RTO timer to expire to retransmit the lost segment. So this leads to underutilization of network. Therefore, now we shall discuss another strategy in which TCP sender do not have to depend on timer at all for any segment loss detection and retransmission and this strategy is called fast retransmission or fast retransmit. So this strategy is called fast retransmit because TCP sender almost immediately detect the segment loss and retransmit it instantly. This is much more efficient than timer-based retransmission scheme, right? So going forward, the end goal of fast retransmission is same as that of timer-based retransmission. The end goal is retransmit the lost segment and the only difference is in the methodology of how to detect that segment has been lost. In fast retransmission, TCP sender triggers segment retransmission based on the feedback from the receiver rather than relying on retransmission timer expiry, right? Hence, segment loss repair is even quicker. A typical TCP implementation implements both the fast retransmission scheme as well as timer-based retransmission scheme. So don't think that fast retransmission is a substitution of timer-based retransmission. Both have their own pros and cons. In fact, fast retransmission is possible only when certain special condition arises. Otherwise, TCP sender has to rely only on timer-based retransmission scheme. So a typical TCP implementation has both the fast retransmission as well as timer-based retransmission scheme. So let us start with the discussion with what does TCP receiver do when it receives segments out of order. So before diving deep into the concept of fast retransmission, it is important for us to understand what is out of order delivery of segments and when TCP receiver receives segments out of order, then what does TCP receiver is supposed to do?